Welcome to Mixtape Videos. Today we're continuing our rankings on the top 10 players at each position, and this week we're ranking the top 10 shooting guards of all time. Make sure you watch our top 10 point guards video and our top 10 greatest players of all time video. Now just a few notes on the criteria we use for these rankings. As you know, we're big on numbers and advanced stats and analytics. So we looked at essential stats like points, steals, and shooting percentage, but we also looked at their rankings in PER, offensive rating, and win shares, just to name a few. To keep things balanced, we also took into consideration their individual achievements, playoff performances, and any other pertinent accolades. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, let's get started. Number 10, Kobe Bryant. Just kidding, he's not actually number 10. I just wanna see the look on your face. Okay, the real number 10 is Ray Allen. Ray Allen made his name in Milwaukee and Seattle as a well-rounded, pure scorer, but he made his legend with the Celtics and Heat as a three-point sniper, winning two championships and hitting possibly the biggest shot in NBA Finals history. On top of that, Allen is a 10-time All-Star, holds the record for the most three-pointers ever, and is 25th all-time in win shares. Number 9, Reggie Miller. Okay, so here's the background on the Ray Allen-Reggie Miller decision. If you compare their career numbers, they're basically the same exact player. Seriously, the numbers are nearly identical. Miller comes out on top in our rankings for a few reasons. He is sixth all-time in true shooting percentage, has the seventh most offensive win shares of all time, and has the second highest offensive rating of all time, all higher than Ray Allen. Reggie Miller is also one of only six players to ever have a 50-40-90 season, something Ray Allen never did. He had some of the greatest playoff performances of all time, mostly against the Knicks, and even though he was never able to get over the hump and win a ring, he's still cemented as a legend of the NBA. Number eight, George Gervin. After starting his career in the ABA, Gervin played the next 10 years in the NBA, averaging over 26 points per game, along with four and a half rebounds and about a steal and a block. In fact, his 26.2 points per game put him at ninth all time in points per game. He actually averaged over 30 points a game twice in his NBA career. What's even more impressive are his playoff performances. He's seventh all time in points per game for the postseason, where he averaged 27 points on 50% shooting. He doesn't show up in a lot of all time stat lists since his career was split between the ABA and the NBA, but he's ninth all time in blocks in ABA history and 15th in total points when you combine his ABA and NBA careers. Number seven, Clyde Drexler. Drexler was a do it all player. On top of averaging 20 points per game, he has career averages of six rebounds, five and a half assists, two steals, and nearly one block per game. That puts him at 10th all-time in steals per game and seventh all-time in total steals. He's also 29th in total points. Later in his career, he won an NBA title with the Houston Rockets after leading the Blazers to the NBA Finals twice, where he set several franchise records. Drexler is often overlooked since he played for a low market team and in an era dominated by Michael Jordan. However, the numbers don't lie. There was very little Drexler didn't excel at. Number six, Dwayne Wade. One of the most polarizing players in the NBA today, Wade has had an equally polarizing career. However, his career numbers of 25 points, five rebounds and six assists are impressive. He's even eighth all time in PER and 19th all time in points per game, not to mention his three rings and finals MVP. He led the league in scoring in the 2008-2009 season and has been in the top 10 in that category in five of his 13 seasons in the league. Injuries have plagued him for most of his career, but that hasn't held him back from dominating the league. Number five, Allen Iverson. After coming into the league as a point guard, Iverson spent the next six seasons as a shooting guard before finishing off the rest of his career splitting time between the two positions. For the sake of simplicity, we're ranking him as a shooting guard. Iverson was one of the most electrifying players of all time. His highlight reel could go on for hours. He was just a straight up scorer. 
He was a decent rebounder for his size and grew to become a pretty good distributor, but his forte was scoring. He's 23rd in total points, 7th in points per game in the regular season, and 2nd only to Jordan in points per game for the playoffs. He's also top 10 all-time in steals per game for the regular season and the playoffs. Iverson's only problem, other than hating practice, was that he wasn't a very efficient scorer, shooting below 43% for his career. However, he did lead a team full of guys that most fans have probably never heard of outside of an aging Dikembe Mutombo to the NBA Finals in 2001. Number 4. Oscar Robertson The Big O, Iverson, and Jerry West all show up on this ranking for one reason. They played both guard positions, and though they could all reasonably be listed for either position, we chose shooting guard in order to maintain consistency. Robertson showed up in one of our earlier videos when we made the case for him being overrated since many people consider him to be the greatest player of all time. He may not deserve to be ranked that high, but that's not to say that he's not one of the greatest shooting guards of all time. After all, he's 11th all time in total points, 4th in assists per game, and 9th in win shares. Oscar really did it all, averaging a near triple-double his rookie year and achieving that feat his second year. And out of his first seven years in the league, he averaged over 30 points per game in all but one of them. He won MVP in 1964 and a championship in 1971. Number 3. Jerry West Now on to the logo himself, Jerry West. West just barely missed the cut on our top 10 greatest players of all time. In fact, many fans would be surprised to find out that when comparing Jerry West to Kobe Bryant, West has better career averages in points, rebounds, assists, and shooting percentage, all for the regular season and the playoffs. However, it's kind of hard to ignore Kobe's five rings and other achievements, which we'll get to in a bit. As for West, he's 19th in total points, 3rd in points per game for the playoffs, and 10th in win shares for the playoffs. He finally got a ring in 1972 after 7 disappointing finals losses. However, he's the only player to have more than 4 consecutive 40-point games in the playoffs and holds the record for the highest scoring average ever in a playoff series at 46.3. Number 2. Kobe Bryant there's a lot we could say about Kobe. He has five rings, two finals MVPs, and one regular season MVP. He's third all-time in scoring, 11th all-time in points per game for the playoffs, and eighth all-time in win shares for the playoffs. Kobe is one of only three players to score 45 points or more in four consecutive games. The guy once scored more points in three quarters than the entire opposing team. Call him a ball hog, but the guy gets results. He was the youngest player to score 32,000 points and was the youngest player to reach every other scoring milestone before that. He holds numerous franchise records, including the most 40, 50, and 60 point games. Number 1. Michael Jordan You probably saw this one coming. It's no surprise, so just take this opportunity to watch some Jordan highlights while I ramble off his achievements. We all know how great Jordan was. Or do we? Let's just look at categories in which Jordan is number one. Number one in points per game for the regular season. Number one in PER for the regular season. Number one in offensive win shares for the playoffs. Number one in PER for the playoffs. Number one in points per game for the playoffs. Number one in total win shares for the playoffs. On top of that, he's top five in total points, steals per game, total steals, and offensive win shares, and total win shares for the regular season. If you can find another player who's number one and top five in as many meaningful categories as that, please let us know. So what do you think of our list? Is there someone we left out? Let us know in the comments or on Twitter.